All right, hopefully all my Chia efforts have paid off. Time to check my progress. How am I going to compete with this never-ending growth in the net space? Well, it's pretty difficult to keep up with the net space growth right now, to be honest. But if you want to give it a try, you would benefit from the Mad Max plotter, which is what we're going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to be doing some experimentation with it. So I have a brand new hard drive right here, and we're going to see how quickly we could fill it up. Now, just a quick note, this isn't a tutorial. This is just my experimentation with the software. Basically, I'm gonna be converting my old plotter to a Mad Max plotter. My approach for this, well, I'm gonna try and do it all in memory so I don't have to burn through SSDs or at least a significant portion in memory. 75% of the plotting will be done in memory. I'm just stealing the memory from another computer. So I'll have 128 gigabytes of memory on my PC, which should allow me to do most of it in memory. I'm sure there is you know, the perfect ideal Mad Max plotter build out there, but that's not what this video is. This is using the hardware that I already have and converting it, essentially. So a few of you have asked me to basically convert my old system to a Mad Max version. That's what this video is for and just showing my journey. Now let's get to the mining room. That didn't go as planned. Whoa, that was weird. Anyways, here is my plotter, and I've made some changes to it, but this is pretty bare bones, so I'm gonna show you basically the process to, to get it running. So what we're gonna do first is we need a hard drive, and this is the hard drive I'm using today, Seagate Barracuda 8 terabyte. I'll check this out, guys. Boom. Slide that in right there, that'll screw in, and then we need data, and we'll need power. There we go. Now the operating system's drive is right here, but I also have this, which I'll actually be doing the plotting to, which is the Inland Premium 2 terabyte. Now there's a lot going on here, but to put the M.2 in here, I'm actually gonna have to take out my RTX 3090. Now I can play Fortnite in 4K FPS, which is quite the upgrade from this guy, which I had in the original build. All right, so I got this all set up. Uh, it's a little crowded, not really what I like, but I'm doing some testing with this card, so I'm gonna have that running as well. So I added double the RAM, we're up to 128 gigabytes. And you can't see it real too well, but back in there, we have the M.2 drive and the heat sink on it. So I originally got this cooler because it's cool, but I'm quickly finding that it's totally overkill. It's pretty much impossible to get to like any actually important part on this computer. And then adding this in here just makes it literally impossible. So uh, you want to get the SSD, you got to take out like everything. All right, so we're going to run some experiments with the Mad Max plotter, but there's one thing that you need to know and that is that the RAM here is actually going to be used as a RAM disk, so you can use it just like any other storage device, and that's going to be the secondary temporary storage. So from the Mad Max GitHub, it'll show you how to do that right here, and that'll basically allow you to open that location, and you can use it just like a normal folder but this is all in RAM. The two main benefits is that one, RAM is very fast and you're not going to burn through it like a typical SSD. The SSD is still going to be used, but it's only going to take about 25% of the writes. So that is what the first temporary directory is for. As for mounting all these drives and getting everything set up, I always refer to Chia Decentral's budget build. It's just really easy to use. And I'm still figuring out all the details on how I'm all memorized, so it's pretty helpful. So basically what's going to happen is there's going to be four phases. Phase one, phase two, phase three, and then phase four. And then it'll spit out the total time it took to run. What is the actual command to execute this going to look like? Well, you're going to say Chia plot, and then you're going to pass in some options, specifically the count. You can just use a negative one for infinite, which will just fill the storage. The number of threads, I'm on an eight core 16 thread. 
buckets default 256 that's fine and then tempter 1 that's going to be the ssd tempter 2 that's going to be the ram disk so then lastly we have the final directory which is going to be the hard drive now your pool key and farmer key you can extract those from chia key show so basically when you're in the chia blockchain you just activate and then you say chia keys show that'll get you your pool key and your farmer key so the end result will look something like this and um, you can use that for reference or go check out the github page but here you have the pool public key and farmer public key 16 thread temporary one is the ssd and temporary two is the ram disk and then the destination is this the uh, eight terabyte drive so I'm gonna let that run, but in the meantime, I got a quick message from our sponsor. You've heard me talk about the Crypto.com debit card, but they also have some other cool announcements such as this right here. Crypto.org, the chain that they're building, is now live, and this is a great place to trade NFTs. So NFTs includes digital art, but not just digital art, a lot of things will be made as NFTs. And this is all supported in the DeFi wallet app, so you can go in here and you can receive NFTs receiving NFTs, simple as that. On top of that, Crypto.com is one of the apps that has the newest launched coins. So they have Chia on there if you wanna take a look at that, but they also just launched on their Git coin and new Cypher, as well as the Raiden network. So if you wanna be ready when new coins come out, Crypto.com is a great place to do that. So thank you Crypto.com for supporting this channel. You're what makes all of this possible. And of course the viewers make this possible with all the moral support in the comment section. So thank you for that. If you enjoy this channel and you want to support it, check out crypto.com and uh, I'll leave a link in the pinned comment down below. Use the code Caleb. That's me. All right, so the very first run of this created a K32 plot in 38 and a half minutes. Not too bad. And the best part is it's all serial, so I didn't have to do any crazy delays or complicated scripts. Super simple. For this, I did turn swap off, so you can do that with sudo swap off slash a because I was seeing that that was spiked up to 100 and I've been using glances to keep track of everything so I noticed this swap was like 100 so I just decided to turn that off the next plot we did took over 40 minutes 40 and a half minutes actually which wasn't too great but I was actually doing two things at once here you see I was also doing some mining with the graphics card which I figured hey that's not gonna affect anything it doesn't really use the processor and doesn't really use the SSDs. So I wasn't really concerned that it would affect the speed. But once I stopped that, I got my plot times down to 32 minutes with the fastest plot so far being 32.2 minutes. So that was with using the RAM as temp two. Uh, some people say that doesn't work as well. So in theory, you could use the SSD underneath there for both temp one and temp two, and that might improve the speed, but I'm totally satisfied with a little over 30 minutes per plot. That's pretty crazy. Alternatively, you could use two SSDs and then use one for temp one and one for temp two. And there's a setting to swap those so it balances out the writes. These will show up as just normal plot files on your drive. And then from farming, you can add a plot directory and just select mount eight terabyte. Close that out. And there you go, you got five plots, which ain't too bad. You know, it's only gonna take 33 years. So I'll be sure to do an update video after I win my first Chia. So I'll see you guys in about 33 years. In the meantime, you can hit subscribe and the notification bell if you want to know when that video comes out. In reality though, I'm going to fill this drive and eventually when the pooling protocol is complete, I'll be replotting from solo plots to poolable plots, which will actually be a whole lot easier with it being serial and a lot faster. So I can definitely utilize this one and potentially turn this plotter into a working machine as well. So that was my journey with the Mad Max plotter. Quite a fun experiment and I'll continue to test this as I fill up my drives. Thank you for watching. If you want to follow along for other cryptocurrency projects on this channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Would really appreciate it. And let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions for content or future video ideas. Thank you. Peace out and I'll see you in the next one.